Alrighty guys, welcome back to some more Breath Edge with me, Aussie Devfro, and we're still stuck. We're still stuck in space, but oh boy, are we ready to rumble like we've never rumbled before. Um, if you remember last time, we stopped when I had to essentially uh, cobble together a whole bunch of resources and, and get ready for a very long trip into space. As you can see here, I have two oxy oxygen stations ready to go. I also have two charging stations ready to go, so I can charge the oxygen stations on my way through. Um, I have two drills, two grabbers, two scrappers, two shears. Like, there's very little that I think can stop me right now. I just took off my thruster. <laughs> Shouldn't do that. Um, so, I think without further ado, we have full food and water. I think I also have some food. Yeah, I've got some food and water too. Uh, let's just go. I, I think we just need to get going. Um, so the idea is here. I'm going to try and get to this fist icon. I don't exactly know what it is, but I want to get to it. Um, so we're going to essentially hop from heating element to heating element. Um, where was the first one though? I have forgotten where the first heating element is. Um, it's probably a good thing that we find it quickly because I can already see the icicles starting to form. Um, the radiation is also already quite strong. We, we have some supreme radiation protection. Like if you guys remember correctly, we have the ability to... We, we have our helmet. We have our new suit. These are all things that keep us... Okay, I should not get like trapped somewhere. Where's the heating element? There it is. We, we need to heat up. We need to heat up. Just need to quickly get rid of any and all uh, temperature related issues. We've got 60 seconds. We're going to get to this mm, oxygen point over here. Let's go. Um, but yeah, I've got a radiation suit and I've got a radiation helmet. If we need some supreme radiation protection, I can put on the red helmet if I really want to. Um, it's not the best idea to do so because I've literally just covered a helmet with lead paint and it is impossible to see out of. But it is something we can do. I'm just going to get some more heat here. Um, and then we're going to go down to our oxygen supply here. We're going to use this up. And then I'm going to charge it before we leave. So I'm just going to get us back to almost max. Okay, I'm going to bounce back to our heat. Make sure we're fully good to go on heat. Because I want to be able to make a return trip as well. I feel like we might need to make a return trip. Okay, here we go. We go down. We fuel up on our oxygen. Bam. Uh, we also charge this because we want to be able to... Oops, I've, I've kind of mucked up a little bit here. That's okay. It's charging. It's just charging. We don't need to be here anymore. We can just go. Okay, we need to get to the next oxygen thing. And hopefully we don't freeze along the way. It's 106 meters. Is there another heating element nearby that we could get to? I think it's literally the next heating element is actually at the next oxygen station. Now, this oxygen station isn't as far... Um, as it could be. It could be further along. I think the main reason it's so close is because there was glass around here and we were kind of actively working around here. So having having oxygen nearby was really useful. Okay, I'm not going to charge this one. This one has plenty of oxygen. And now we're just going to go. My goal is to get all the way over there. Um, it looks like the freezing problem is no longer a problem, actually, now that I think about it. We don't seem to be freezing up. Huh. The presence of such an amount of cooling gel is strange. Such a composition was outdated more than 10 years ago and is not produced on any planet. Oh, uh, that's not good. You know what else is not good? We are freezing. We do appear to be freezing. I don't have any more heal heating elements. Uh-oh. This could be a problem. We might freeze to death out here. Um, I distinctly do not see any form of... The captain's bridge is detected ahead. The evacuation should be led from there. But there are no signals or movement uh -oh. detected in this area. Probably everyone died. Oh no. Um, there's no heating element. How are we supposed to make this? I can't see. I can't see. Um, I believe we're about to freeze to death. Unless my vision... No, I... Yep, this is bad. <laughs> um, hmm. This is... Oh. Oh? Oh, I don't know what just happened, but we're okay now. I have no idea how, but we're okay. Is it because we're now in sunlight again? Wait, were we in shadow before? 
maybe. Or maybe because we were near the... Oh, oh, babe, I see you next to Captain's Bridge. It's fine. Communication with Bridge is not there. All die. To access Bridge, you need the code ADMIN123. There's a button with the inscription, kill all passengers. You press it. Not only be scared... Oh. Such an accent. The incorrect localization sounds extremely convincing. The information on the Captain's Bridge is classified in the database. Therefore, it is recommended to ignore this valuable advice and act according to the situation. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized how close we were to death on oxygen, so I thought this was the smart play. <laughs> we got to like 18%. Okay, so that's scary. Um, but it turns out you can get a completely frozen visor and still be okay. So that's good to know. That's actually really handy to know. Um, okay. So... I couldn't read everything that Babe said there, but she was essentially... There's a button that says kill all passengers. I think Babe pressed that button at some point, which is probably not great. But we do know that the code is admin123. Look out, radiation. Okay, well, I can just put this on. There we go. Get wrecked, right? Oh, no, I took off my, no, there we go. Uh, get wrecked, radiation. <laughs> yeah, we can't see, we gotta, we gotta keep this on. I, I can't see. I know there's radiation, but like, what else do I do? Like, I've, I've got the best suit I can put on, right? There's nothing else I can do. Um, this does, this is not a door. Okay. Maybe we should go up here. Ah, oh, there we go. Maybe there'll be oxygen in here. The captain's bridge was badly damaged, but the main systems are still functioning. Wait, properly. are they? <gasps> Holy heck, they are too. I can breathe in here. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, that's perfect. Um, there's a drill there. It, that's nice. I mean, I didn't need the drill. But I'll take it, I suppose. Um, okay, so it's good to know that we can um, we can just chill in here. Radiation is being a problem, but not like you know we'll we'll figure it out. Okay. The door is locked. If you manage to get inside, there is a chance to send a distress signal to the nearest planet, or at least take the course with Captain who allowed this to happen. Ah, uh, yeah, I'd love to chat to the Captain that had this happen. Let's scan this. There we go. Let's enter. Oh, there's no power. Okay. Uh, we need to get some power running. Oh, is this a Repair power supply. Handy scrapper required. Repair power supply. I'm repairing something. Huzzah. Consider yourself repaired, sir. Okay, and now we're going to come over here. We're going to enter password. Um, we wrote admin123 on the chicken. Beautiful. We take the key. An ordinary key from some cheap lock. Or something close to it. We need a key. I have a key. Uh, put key in scanner slot. Open. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. System loading. Loading complete. Launch it. Ah, uh, wait. Hang on. Launch? No, 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 no. What? Oh! Uh, what? You're kidding me. You're... Seems it will be a long day. While choosing the most painless suicide methods for you, a slight decrease of the background radiation was noticed. Surprisingly, your attempt to break the liner could lead to positive results. I could find out the nature of this phenomenon, but for that, I would need to disclose some confidential information of the Breath Edge Company, which contradicts the security protocol, so not a single spacesuit AI will disclose this information to you. Excellent. Um... On the other hand, this information is extremely necessary for us. There are a lot of stupid spacesuits with dead carriers floating around, so nobody will even know if you resort to the good old torture method, like the drill. Nani. Get information with the drill. Okay, before I drill myself, I'm going to save the game. I, I'm gonna... I can't seem to save the game. Um... Can, can I save the game? Thank you. Um, okay, I'll uh, drill myself. No, no, I will tell you everything, I swear! Ah, don't do that! Okay. Well, I mean, you're not telling me, so... Okay, let bygones be bygones. I suppose you don't think that a program can be afraid of torture, do you? I don't think it can either. And I'm definitely not hinting that you need to find an engineering mm -hmm. shuttle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You probably need some explanations which you cannot get because the corresponding dialogues are absent in the game. Therefore, you won't get any. Babe, another satellite dish explodes. Only one left, but I can't find it. If you see it, let me know. I'm, I'm not listening to you, babe. I'm gonna 
try and drill myself again. I won't say any more, I can't break the security protocol. I think he can break the security protocol. No, seriously, I really can't say anything. No, I more. guarantee you can say something. Bloody tell me. Hey, that's dangerous. Don't do that. We're complete idiots. Are you awake? I was forced to give you an electric shock as you almost ruined the spacesuit. I kindly ask you not to play with the drill anymore, please. <laughs> Oh, they've taken away my ability to drill myself. <laughs> you know what? Feckle. Feckle. I would have taken away my ability to drill myself too. Okay. So. What do we. I need to find the engineering shuttle. So, okay. So, the good news is. If we need to get back here, we can hop from section to section to get here. So, getting here is not a problem. Um. And we are kind of safe here. Aside from food and water, we are kind of safe here. Um, let's have a quick look at our situation here. Task. Find the engineering shuttle. Okay, that's that's our core task. The spacesuit. No, there's nothing really there. Babe is babe and attention survival. Yeah, so there's not really too much more going on. Um, oxygen station. Keep that there. Shuttle. Spaceship debris. Engineering shuttle. Okay. Coordinates marked by Babe. Okay. So Babe is actually still super far away. But the engineering shuttle is uber close. So I suppose we're just going to go. Um, let's just go into space. And um, yeah, hope that nothing else kind of... Oh, I should zoom actually. Hope that nothing else kind of gets in our way. Now remember, we do have oxygen if we need it. I don't really think we're going to need it. Um, again, we can go 60 seconds out and 60 seconds back. In order to find out how you reduce the radiation, you need to calculate the coordinates of the place where the captain's bridge crashed into the liner. Red Edge Agency Coffins can help us with this. However, we still need to find an engineering shuttle, or even better, the engineer himself. Yeah, we need to get into... I, I know where two coffins are, actually. So if we need to go back and find some coffins, I can do that. There's an engineering shuttle ahead. I wonder how you find everything so quickly. Is it because of my hints? Is it because of my hints? Wait. Oh! Is this a new hub? <gasps> can we make things here? Is this a, is this our new hub? Looks like he was chasing with a chainsaw during the crash. I can find no other explanation for such damage to a spacesuit. We need one that is in good condition, or at least other parts of this one. I'd recommend exploring the Okay, area. so this guy... Oh, this guy really had a bad time. Like, he had a really bad time here. Like, a really bad time. Um, that's that's not a, not a good look. Let's get this scanner here. I'll scan the steering wheel. Got a blueprint part. Wait, we can make a shuttle if we get enough skin steering wheels? That's kind of cool. Um, examine a desk calendar? Sure. I'll take it. Why do all calendars have women on them? This is complete discrimination of the male half of the population. Exactly. Um, we got a grumpy mole. Um, there's a lot of food here. Large oxygen candles. Nice. Got some sweet packages. I mean, we got inventory space for days, so bottles of water, uh, more oxygen candles, that's handy. Um, more water, electrical tape. There is a processor here. Refined metal and wire. Oh, we can turn off the we can turn off the music. I didn't know that. I kind of like the music. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this is kind of cool. I'm going to examine the UFO and take it. Intergalactic Force Exchange of Specialists. Convenient, effective, but still remains a fantasy, unfortunately. Is our containers... Our container doesn't have our old stuff, actually. Okay, so we might need to go back and get our other stuff, but we've got a new hub. This is pretty good. I'm, I'm glad we have a new hub now. Um, as for the processor, have we learned anything that's, like, super useful right now? I don't think so. I think we only learn a large oxygen candle. Although, that's the normal size one. Hmm. I don't know what we're going to do with it. That's okay. Um, I'm going to eat a... Um, I'm going to eat a regular nutrition package. And I'm going to drink some water. And then I suppose we're just going to get out there. We need to find... Um, we need to find this engineer's body, essentially. Or his body parts. I feel like there's going to be parts over there. In fact, there's multiple fists around us, so I feel like there's going to be multiple parts around. Um, also, what's this? Extract garbage... Ooh. 
Electronics. Most robots have this in the brain. I don't know what electronics are, but yoink. Maybe it'll, we can make like a robot that like automatically goes out and finds stuff for us. That'd be really nice. Um, this looks different. Resin. Grabber required. I have a grabber in my infantry just over here. Um, this grabber has less durability. There we go. So yeah, this is some... Oh, we can make fuel? That was a lot of fuel. Okay, so maybe with fuel we can actually... Ooh, that is spiky. A titanium ball. Oof. I feel like we shouldn't touch this with our bare hands. Compensator. We can make a compensator. I don't know what a compensator is going to do. We should have a look at it. Those are some very spiky balls. Alright, let's get back in there. And let's see what a compensator is. It might have something to do with our... Actually, before we go any further. Um, why do I hear... Hang on. I, I did not ask for opera. No. No opera. Yeah, this works. I like this. This is my bot. <laughs> okay. What's... What... What's an op a compensator? It's not a tool. Like, it's not a piece of our inventory that we can equip. It's not a tool. What is it? What's this? We can make fuel. Metal and resin. That's good to know. There's our large oxygen candle. Oh! An electronic compensator, to be precise. A device for the efficient distribution of electricity in any large or complex space technology. Spaceships would burn three times as often and twice as brightly without this little box. Okay. Why do I get the feeling we're going to be making a spaceship soon? I feel like that's on the table, and I'm kinda all for it. Anyway, let's um, let's go find the engineer's body. There should be some pieces over here, so let's get over there. And I think with the engineer's body, we'll either be able to get into the coffins that are around the place, or we'll be able to um, or we'll be able to um, withstand radiation better. Looks like there's nothing here. Examine some other debris. Oh. I mean, you say there's nothing here, but there's some metal, there's some titanium, there's some good stuff here. Um, examine other debris. Um, what do we got? We got one, 200 meters, 100 meters. I don't see any fists that way. 100 meters. Ah, oh, 150. Let's go to this one. This one looks nice and close. Why do I get the feeling we're just going to see like a, a hand floating in space and go, yep, that's our engineer. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what we're looking for. It's like he took off his suit, threw the suit out the airlock, and then tried to romantically introduce himself to a chainsaw. A small intact spare oxygen cylinder. You can make a blueprint of the real small oxygen cylinder, oh. which is forbidden to be installed on any non-state suits, including Breath Edge Company oh. funeral suits. What is... A detailed... I can't say for certain oh, no. the body parts are mixed here, but it seems he had a good lunch before the crash, for sure. Oh, a magnet. Um, okay. I took some refined metal. Wait, what are we taking here? An oxygen? Hang on, he said there was an oxygen canister here. A small oxygen canister? I don't... Plan of a habitation module. I would like to scan that. Okay, hold on. Um, I want to come back here. Rem remind ourselves, it's directly above... Oh, there it is. Okay, it's directly above. There's actually a little scan symbol there, so that's kind of good. Um, let's zoom down. There might also be something over there. There's no indicator, but there might be something interesting over there. So we're back in ex we're back in explore phase essentially. Like we had a good idea of what was going on around us where we were before, but this time like everything's all new again now. How are we doing infantry space? Plenty of space. Okay, get our oxygen back up and head back out. Um, but yeah, I would I would like to get um, I would like to get our um, oxygen capacity higher. I know, like, getting an oxygen capacity higher doesn't really mean anything because it just means, oh, you're now going to be able to do the rest of the... Oh, what the hell is that? Uh, you're just going to be able to go, you know, progress into where the game actually wants us to go. But in terms of, like, resource acquisition, it'll be a huge boon. I do think that's it over there, actually. But before I do... Oh, coffin. No, we still don't have the magnetic master key. That's fine. Um, I want to scan this. We can now make a small habitation module. That's pretty cool. Um, what is this? Oxygen cylinder blueprint. 
A huge dead man without head fly past me. I calculate and give you coordinates. Maybe there's many huge men out there that can help you. Maybe there is. Um, that's more fuel. I kind of want this. Getting annoyed at having to, like, keep swapping these things. I kind of wish I had more hands, if that's possible. This, this is a grabber. This is not the grabber. This is the grabber. That other thing I had was a back scratcher. <laughs> Alright, give me this resin. Thank you. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's head back. Um, I don't know where Babe told us to go to find the headless man, but that might be the man we're looking for. All I know is that I think with some resources we should be able to make this new oxygen cylinder. And I'm all for this. Oh, there's more electronics over there. Remind I should remind myself to go get that in a second. Okay, what do we got in here? Um, okay. So... Aha, it is in here. There we go, look at that. Oxygen cylinder. We need a compensator. Oh, okay, well we can make that. Can't we? Yeah, it is. Look, we can actually. Alkali, refined metal, and titanium. Let's go. Beautiful. And it's going to use some resources too. Um, and then oxygen cylinder. So remember, we had 125 oxygen before we have this. Now we have... Well, actually... Yeah, so we had, we had whatever our base was plus 50. Now we have whatever our base was plus 125. So we have, oh my god, 200 seconds of oxygen. That's incredible. That's a huge upgrade. I'm all for it. This is fantastic. All right. Um, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna pop some things in here. So, anything, uh, food related, I think we can... Like, I don't trust these other food bits and bobs. Just move them out of the way for now. Um, I don't think we need this anymore, so put that away. This is a troll. <laughs> um, I have a lot of oxygen candles. I don't think we need this many. Resource-wise, again, always... Mmm... Yeah, okay. We, we don't need this much resin. Just keep two resin for now. Again, I think if we just keep two of everything and remember where we put all the stuff. I did have a lot of resources back at the old place. Maybe between sessions I'll go back and get the old resources. But right now, I think I'm okay with what we've got. Okay. Uh, so let's go find another... Oh, actually, no, hang on. I was going to take the drill and come over here. There are some electronics over here that I don't know if we're going to need, but I'm going to take this. Thank you. Um, there's more resin here. That's good to know. At some point, I think we're going to need all this fuel. So we're just going to do that. Okay. Um, there's a fist just over here. What have we got? What's that? Is it the body part I'm thinking of? Oh, nope, it's just a finger. This won't do. It's a finger. It's- oh. Oh my. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna take it, but that's atrocious. Wait, is that the headless man? Oh my god. Okay, there's radiation here. But I think we have to go up- we have to go in. Oh no, no we don't actually. Hold on. There is one more over here. I'm so glad we have the 200 seconds now. This is amazing. Ooh, there's blood over here. This could be what we're looking for. Oh. Uh, examine. This part belongs to the shuttle's owner. For owners, it's hard to tell whether the remains belong to just one person. In any case, this won't do. We need something below the belt, if you know what I mean. Uh, ooh, a scanner, though. I will take that. Thank you. Ooh, refined metal? Wow, this guy is loaded. Um, he had some good shiz. What, what is that? That's just a random spike. Okay. Um, we still have a hundred seconds left. Uh, I'm gonna... The random head is 2,000 meters away. That's interesting. Okay, that's a hundred meters away. You know what, let's, um, let's go back. You know what, before we go back, I'm gonna smack this titanium. I'm gonna get some resources. Just gather some generic resources while we're here. There we go. Yoink, yoink. I don't think there's anything else. Except for that one there. Ooh, actually. Uh, we don't need any rubber. We've got plenty of tape. Just have a quick look around, see if there's anything else around we can grab. Um, not here, but we can grab this. 
I think it's going to be good to just gather some of the basic resources around here. Nice rubber. Ooh. Oh, babe, I see a coffin with arms, legs, and blaster flying by. Um, it's probably hallucinations. If you see one too, be sure to turn your back to him and wave your hand so that blood rushes to your brain and hallucinations stop. Mm, no, I don't think that's what we want to do. But I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get our oxygen back. I don't think we need to make anything else. I will, again, just open this up and uh, just quickly go through what we've got here. I should probably make... Now we've got drills. Oh, we've got pretty much everything. Um, again, we've got a lot of refined metal in our inventory. I don't think we need to hang on to all this refined metal. We certainly don't need all that rubber. Titanium will only keep two. Wires, only two. Fine metal, only two. The metal I keep three because you use three to make um, to make a scrapper and scrappers get you out of trouble. All right, let's go. Okay, we're gonna go to those long range fist icons now or main quest icons. And hopefully we can find the remains of this engineer. So this one's just over here. All the interior was torn out by depressurization. Indeed it was. It looks very destroyed. Very much so. Okay, I'll, I'll um, drill. Looks like there's nothing here. Examine some other debris. Oh. Okay, fine. If there's nothing here, there's nothing here. All right. Now this is getting a little crazy. This. What a strange place. But maybe we can find something useful here. Oh, hello. Oh, hang on, hang on. Wait, is this? Not the most useful instrument in space. Um. Unfortunately, this isn't what we're looking for. Although I would think of eating a hand transplant if I were you. These are better than yours, and it looks like nobody needs them anymore. Wow. Ooh, Newton's eggs. Oh, that's gross. I'm gonna take it. A witty toy with a non-witty name. The developers are clearly 13 years old. Yeah, that's true. New blueprint repair tool. Oh, that's handy. Shit, there was actually something really handy here. A repair tool. Nice. Um, that was useful. Not exactly what we're looking for, but definitely useful. Um, hopefully the engine. Yeah, radiation is big here. Hopefully the engineer is actually here. The durability of the engineering modules is impressive. Even such asteroids couldn't crash them. Oh, hello. A magnet and boots. This is it. I wasn't sure if the engineer's legs remained intact, but we were lucky. Unfortunately, due to the security protocol, I cannot tell you that the special magnets built into his engineering boots can be used to illegally open the back panel of Breath Edge Goblin. Ah, okay. Right, that's... You probably need some explanation about this. I have no right to inform you that Breath Edge Agency coffins exchange information with each other concerning obstacles flying by in order to avoid collisions in space. But collecting this information would help determine the trajectory of the captain's bridge, which in turn will determine the coordinates of its collision with the liner. Right. So what you're telling me is that I need to open 200 coffins. Are you kidding me? Is this actually what I need to do here? Magnetic master key if we get get a battery It used to be called a crowbar, but the game designer conspired with a translator and threw a tantrum. So now it's a magnetic master key <laughs> Also a repair tool removes nuts screws and someone's disobedience with a good strike and a rotational movement I'm gonna make one of those just because it'll be good to have the tool when we want it um, But this is huge Need an aluminium and a battery. I think I have those. Wait, do I have those? I might not. Hold on. Um, aluminium. I mean, we've got a lot of resin. Wow, are we actually out of batteries? Right, I gotta find aluminium and batteries. Oh, I put all my collection stuff away too. Ah, dang it. Oh, that's okay. We need to go find aluminium batteries. All right. Now, batteries we can normally find inside electronics or those little canisters. Oh, I don't want to go back there. That scares me going back there. Uh, let's have a quick look over here. Aluminium we can normally find on rocks. So in fact, in fact, if I just come over straight over here, in fact, I see aluminium right here. Nope, that's ice. That's not aluminium. Um. Part of the Breath Edge story. That is though. There are only some empty coffins here. You can even choose one for yourself if you want to. Damn it, our drill broke right when I wanted it. Dang it, drill. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. 
Uh, wait, did he say empty storage? Does that mean there's... hang on. Okay, there's radiation here. Let's be careful. I wanted to come down here. This is what I wanted to look at. Hopefully there'll be some batteries around here. Maybe. This is a non-standard modification. Looks like somebody probably wanted to improve the speed characteristics of this coffin, which is a direct violation of the contract, although the idea is implemented quite well. Oh wow, it's a it's a coffin with a um with an engine. Wait, does that mean we can get an engine? Also, oxygen candles, thank you. Um kinda looking for a battery though, because there are a lot of coffins here that we could have a look at with Oh, actually maybe not. Maybe not. They seem destroyed. What do you mean drill required? I have a drill. Getting lots- oh no, these coffins are all broken. That's not very useful. This one isn't though. Yeah, we can't open that without a battery. Thank you for the titanium. Alright, we need to find a battery. Where the heck will I find a battery? Honestly, I reckon there might be some in some of these canisters that are around. There's no way we're going to be able to open 200 coffins. That's crazy. That's actually going to take forever. I guarantee the developers are going to pull a fast one on us, and when we open the first coffin, it's going to tell us the exact information we need. I guarantee that's what's going to happen here. I also guarantee that I'm going to hopefully not lose my all my air checking up here for a canister. How did we run out of batteries? I think we used them to make the compensator. Okay, we've got 60 seconds. Do I think that's enough time to smack down a, a canister? Probably not. We're gonna do our best. Please just give me a battery. Um, that's not a battery. Not a battery at all. We're gonna go. We're gonna get back down here. Damn it. All right. I'll um I'll check back with you guys after I find this battery. Okay, so awesome news. Not only did I find one battery, but I think I got like two or three. I thought it'd be best if I picked up a couple of bonus ones. So, um, because we also got the, the blueprints for this accelerator, um, which means we need to find shawarma, refined metal and yellowish water. Um, I'd like to get the accelerator, the large accelerator, but that, that might be a little bit beyond our pay grade this episode. That being said, we can now make the magnetic master key. So let's grab that bad boy. And as much as I want to end the episode, I do want to see what this thing can do. So we're going to grab that. We're going to pop it down where our scanner is. The technology of opening the back panel of Breath Edge is commercial classified information. And therefore, I cannot advise you to turn on the magnet, attach it to the lock, and pull the trigger to dislodge the locking mechanism. You'll have to figure it out yourself. Ah, thank you, computer. This, this AI is being remarkably helpful. Now... This will tell us right now if we have to open 200 coffins or just one coffin. Um, I honestly believe we're only going to have to open one coffin, but then again, I could be incorrect. You're doing great. You're almost there. I hate everything. <laughs> 200 coffins. Are you joking? Are you actually joking? We've found like three, maybe four coffins in the entire game so far. That's... No, 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 no. I refuse to believe we have to actually do 200 coffins. I refuse. That's not... <laughs> it 
regardless, um, what we will do is end the episode here because I think that's a pretty good place to stop knowing that th our next task could literally take us the rest of our life. <sighs> Anywho, let me know if you're enjoying the series. Make sure you do comment below. Um, I do enjoy hearing from you guys and hearing um, what you like and what you don't like about my adventures here in space. Uh, make sure you like the video. It gives me an ego boost and helps with that all-important algorithm. And um, I think the most important thing is that you all have a wonderful day and don't get sucked into the void of space where there is infinitely no escape and some possible boob monster trying to kill me. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. But do have a great day. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. Hope you had a good time. I know I sure did. Um, please do consider commenting below uh, parts of the video that you liked or didn't like. Helps me out when making future content. Also, please remember I am live on Twitch five nights a week and you can find the link in the description below. Alrighty, have a good one guys.